ask for eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart full of understanding. cards this time. We have Fidelity and the Beneath opens up to you. Okay. I think I am going to start painting and then listen while I'm painting this time instead of just starting with speaking. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll see it. Reminds me of Finding Nemo, cute little clownfish. Faithfulness, loyalty. for you guys. The beneath opens up to you. <sighs> My heart is already hurting. And the truth is I don't even know what I'm gonna say. being reminded of lockdown and the pandemic and how a lot of relationships didn't quite make it through. Um, we really kind of found out about each other during that time frame. Um, I think that it can be a real struggle sometimes to remain faithful and loyal. That is not me saying that we all cheat or anything like that. I'm not even talking about sexuality. I am just talking about the frustrations within any relationship that occur. The card that's really speaking to me right now is the beneath opens up to you. I feel like fidelity is to dig in more, to really ground into that loyalty, sticking with it. Um, I 
and I am oftentimes during these kind of videos I know a lot of people have to give all the little disclaimers and all that stuff and I do feel one coming out right now is that you know obviously if you're in some kind of toxic thing abusive relationship by all means you don't need to stick with it um and hopefully you realize that or truly hope you do um but this this particular one is about the tough times getting through them I need another color I'm gonna ask for some specific, specific messages, please, as we go through this. This is truly specific. I don't usually get names, but I got the name Lucas. Um, you have hope. And with that hope, you can dig in. But changes need to be made. You need to flip the script, reframe it, check the perspective. But maintain that hope. Hold on to that. I hope, I hope right now as you hear this that you, you know it's you <laughs> that I'm talking to. I don't know if I'm saying this name correctly or not, because um, it's not just Donna, it's Adana, Adana. Um, maybe it's even a different language. I'm not totally sure, but that's what I'm hearing. I am hearing that your burdens are heavy. You need rest. You're so tired. You're so tired. You commit and you commit and you don't feel seen. I'm struggling with the next words, um, but this is what I'm receiving, so it's what I'm going to give you. It is yours to do with as you will. There is more out there for you. And even as I said that I felt the energy lift and lighten. You just needed that. That's what you needed. There is more out there for you. Now I'm hearing honey and sunshine. Not sure if that's just some interesting names or means something specific to someone. Um, And I'm hearing breathe in and breathe out. Do we have 
have more messages, please. Sarah. I'm hearing that <laughs> sorry guys sometimes my own personality wants to jump in and say things um, and it's hard for me to sometimes say what I might take something a different way so I assume you would I'm just gonna give you the words I'm hearing um, It is time to look within yourself instead of outside. You've been trying over and over. Your fidelity, your loyalty to your beliefs or a system away doesn't mean, I'm not even saying religious, it could be, but it's just a, you're stuck because you keep trying this one way and you need to go within there's something underneath for you feeling that I'm supposed to remind that um, this is for whoever um, even though specific names come up if you feel that a message is for you then that is for you sometimes people need specific names to be able to truly register that it's for them but your life your journey you get to choose what's right for you I'm gonna go with it. I feel a little bit funny doing this, but there is something very strong and angry feeling that I've got uh, with me right now. Here's a message that wants to come out. I am so angry with you. How many times do I have to try? How much do I commit? How much do I give 150% of myself over and over and over? My heart feels done. Why don't you effing see me? Please see me. Be with me. Choose me. You hurt my heart. Turn around and see me. Even though I am so angry, I keep trying and I keep giving and I keep hoping and holding on. We had something so amazing. Will it ever come back? I 
want to remind whoever feels in touch with that message that you're not alone. I hope this makes it obvious that you're not alone. I feel you right now. I feel your heartache and your frustration. I lift you up. I ask that the powers that be, whoever's in charge here, gives you the hope that you're holding on to. Lightens your heart, lightens your load, allows you to feel seen and accepted. I ask for that for you. Maybe go break some stuff. That's what I was just seeing, like taking some old dishes, go to a thrift store, buy a couple dishes and go break them, smash them. Get that energy out. <sighs> okay, that was a lot. I'm gonna ask one more time if there is anything left. Is there any more to the painting? Uh, here's one that's a little different as well. Um, I just heard Charles, it's all copacetic. <laughs> you know, if that works for you, that works for you. I'm just the one opening my mouth here. Um, I think that's roughly it. Uh, I'm feeling like it's closing down now, so. Oof. I love you all. And I hope you realize you're not alone, truly. My heart is with you. I hope you have a blessed day, rest of your evening, whatever it is for you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>